four notable players turned front office execs uh -huh. in pro sports. So in the NBA, you've got, I mean, Danny Ainge obviously oh, yes. sticks out. Two-time champ with the Celtics as a player. Then he went mm. on to win the 2008 NBA championship as the Celtics GM. He got Phil Jackson. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. Phil's having a week, isn't he? Uh -huh. So, so he, he won two three. titles Boston, with the right? Knicks. Yes. And now he's their GM. Yeah, you tell me. You well, tell me how that turns out. I'll go back to the Ainge. I used to love Ainge as a player. I think he had that temperament to be in the front office because he was that guy. He was an agitator. Like, he used to get Jordan so mad. Yeah. Michael Jordan, the greatest player ever, that he would try to fight Danny Ainge like a floor slapper who would just make him mad the floor whole game. Floor slapper. Total floor slapper. Like, whoa, Joe. But I liked him in the front office, and obviously he was part of the big three and the Celtics and whatnot. But, Phil, man, we have these tabloids here all the time. Today it's A-Rod. But every other day it's Phil Jackson. And right. he's... Um, Everyone wondered, how was that going to work going back to New York? Him and Mello, they, uh, they, they may have to go on a couples retreat or something. Well, listen, when speaking of Danny Ainge, you know, I, like I, Ainge. I, I loved him as a player. Yeah. He was very aggressive. But, you know, coming back to him as a GM, he said the big three. Yeah. You know, it, it kind of leads me to believe if a player's going to become a GM, I think the first thing they have to do is bring in a trifecta. You have to bring in some stars. You have to bring in star power. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was Garnett, I mean, Garnett, it was Paul Pierce, and it was Ray Allen. Yeah, and At Rondo. that time, they were all, I guess, towards the end of their career. For sure. But when they came in, they brought in some type of leadership, some type of wisdom, some type of experience, and that led them to the championship. And we'll get into it. We'll start talking football, obviously, at some yeah. point in the show. If you're a player turning GM, mm -hmm. you're going to have to bring in some stars. And it's harder in the NFL, but you got to break the John Elway brought in Peyton Manning. There you right? go. And he replaced Tim Tebow. But you're on to a point. Maybe if you're a celebrity GM, you got to go with the celebrity names. You get respect. You bring in the dazzling names. That's something they did. Nobody loves hockey like Peter Schrager. I love hockey. It's Steve Eiserman, right? Mm. Three or times. Stevie Y. Cup winner with the Detroit Red Wings. He's the GM. Led the Tampa Bay Lightning to the Cup Finals in 15. Of course, he had Patrick Waugh. Then he went over to be the coach for a while. Or the Patrick Aver Waugh. Yep. Everyone loves a Patrick Waugh reference. If you don't want to ever draw the ire of NHL Twitter, hockey Twitter is fierce. So if we did not include eyes, remember we talked about the greatest coach and we're Phil Jackson, Popovich. Scotty Bowman! Bowman! Are they more forgivable than lacrosse Twitter? Yeah, lacrosse is fine. Okay. We've made our peace Got with it. lacrosse. Okay. MMA but. Twitter is crazy, but hockey Twitter is wrong, too. So, Eiserman, anybody on that? No, Eiserman's crazy. great. I mean, he's a legend. Nay, yeah, we were yeah. talking before the show. So it worked. You played in Detroit. It yeah. totally worked. Eiserman is a god in that town. It's, it's all the Red it's Wings. It's a hockey town. It is. It's a hockey town. It is they, a hockey town. Yeah. They Should we go to some baseball guys? Yeah, Nolan let's do Ryan, it. Hall of Fame pitcher, who went on to become president of baseball ops with the Texas Rangers. Also, Billy Bean. Six seasons in the major because before the Billy Bean ball right? happened, the no? Billy Bean, We're Billy throwing Bean it out. Oakland A's He stunk as a player. He was a flame out, and then he was like, I got to rebuild my life and become a... He wasn't, he wasn't Magic Johnson. Was there a big Billy Bean fan? <laughs> Somebody in the background. The Bean oh, Bean rising up. Whoa. How about whoa. the day in Billy whoa. Bean's whoa. life? He's just having heartburn. Whoa, oh, Billy We're like, Bean. We're going to make a movie about your story, and he's like, oh, who's going to play me? Colin Firth? No, Brad Pitt's going to play yeah. Billy Bean. It was the greatest compliment yeah, I ever gave Yeah, and how about your Paul D. Podesta? We're going to have Jonah Hill play you. And big Jonah Hill, too. Right? That's unbelievable. Brad Pitt as Billy Bean come up. But I don't think Billy Bean is equipped because Billy Bean is like a former player, but you think of him now as a, a GM. Magic Johnson and John Elway, these were Nolan legends. Ryan. Nolan Ryan, legend. And it's almost like top all right, 50 all time in their sports. Billy Bean made the ranks up in the front office. So to me, it's like that's the big question mark when you have these celebrity GM hires. It almost feels like it's knee jerk or it's okay, we got to appease the fan base. Uh, sure. uh, who do we have? Uh, Magic Johnson. That's what Let's the Lakers Magic Johnson. Feels like. Like, uh, you know, he had. I don't know. So, are the fans happy? Like, what's the fan perspective? That's a great. Pers that's a great question because everybody. Never mind Kobe. Magic is Mr. Laker in right. LA. He is the greatest Laker yep. ever. So I think it's exciting, but it's a little tricky because Magic's an interesting guy. Great businessman, incredible basketball player. But in this day and age, if you follow Magic on Twitter. It's really something. Guys, he is one of the strangest, least <laughs> self-aware tweets. Look at this. He tweets that Kevin Durant should win the MVP. Then he goes, also probably in the early MVP conversation, James Harden, Chris Paul, Blake Giffen, this David Lillard, DeMarcus Cousins, Anthony Davis. <laughs> this is 2016. And he keeps going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Carmelo, <laughs> Anthony, Paul, George, Hassan. Hassan Whiteside, Hassan Magic. Whiteside? He's a good big. I like him. But the MVP, I mean, Magic. Rebounds? And then this Rebounds is, you want to really get put into a figure four? Magic once tweeted this headed to the finals. This is the guy running the Lakers. Give us the Magic tweet. We all know it. This is his most famous one. The only way San Antonio or Miami don't win the championship is if neither <laughs> team makes the finals. That was we were in the finals. That's, no one knew what he was talking that's about. That's a magic tweet, all right. You never see a tweet. They were in the finals against the each other. I know. The replies are just like, I can't even say all the replies on the air. You know, you and I talk about the different type of people who are on Twitter. 
they, they really got after it. Now, you know the type of people I'm talking about? Uh, you're talking about black Twitter. Uh, yeah, they, they, yeah. Were, well, they were on one. Yeah. They were on one, man. It, it was, was lit. Awesome. It was lit. Go back and find that tweet and just read the replies. It is so funny. Okay, Nate. so you mentioned Elway. Then you have Ozzie Newsome, right? So, yeah, right. With it. So, so do you think this yeah, could work? Look, here's the deal. And I'm not, and look. All, all respect to Magic Johnson for his business savvy. Obviously, the guy's, a, you know, he's done a lot in the business yeah, world. He's, he's still naming MVPs. He's Gordon Hayward, <laughs> Nika Jokic, who else? <laughs> Nika Jokic. Oh, right. Denver big man. Andre Drummond. Ozzie Newsom worked under Belichick and worked under Art Modell in Cleveland and kind of like did the thing. John Elway was the Arena Football League. He, owned, he had the team out there in Denver, the Denver Crush, and they kind of did that thing. The Magic thing felt like he was on TV a day ago. And now it's, all right, Jeannie Buss says, all right, we're going to get rid of my brother. We're going to do all this stuff. And Magic, you handle it. And, like, Magic's going to suddenly be the Svengali. <laughs> it, it, uh, business savvy guy, though. Business savvy, business big savvy time. For you want sure. a movie theater in the L.A. area, for you're sure. going to pay Magic Johnson. Yeah. And listen, I also think there's a, a deal here with this goes to the celebrity factor of a good legend within the organization. I think Magic brings free agents. Yep. I think Magic makes it cool. Does he? I, I think he does. Yeah. Yes, I truly do. Because I think that there are kids who look at the Showtime Lakers, and I think they may get Kobe involved in the future. I don't well, know Rob Palenka, like the agent of uh, Kobe Bryant, is, no, is rumored to be the GM of the Lakers. So what I'm saying. So Magic's something taking a guy from the agent world and saying, He's going to be the GM. It's very It's like, you want to talk money ball. This yeah. is the absolute opposite. You just pay everyone a lot of money and try to win things. To bring it back to the NFL, though. Yes. If you, I'm sorry to put you on the spot. No, yeah. If you had to say Peyton Manning at some point, front office. Yeah, we saw John Lynch go from the broadcast booth, but I think Peyton Manning's this looming star of a guy who was the most cerebral player we've ever seen, a guy who players respect. He's like the it's... smartest player in history. Yes. Yeah, and there's so rumors head, when for with two years. magic conversation, my head goes to Peyton Manning, like, will he, won't he, should he, will he? Yeah, it's the equivalent he... of Peyton Manning coming back to Indianapolis and saying, okay, let's build this thing. That's what it's the equivalent of, right? I mean, or is it Lawrence Taylor going to the Giants. Yeah. Like, I don't know. For some reason, I don't think he's going to. I don't know. I mean, he, I don't either. He makes so many commercials, makes so much money. He's got his passing academy and his foundations. It's a lot of work, and I, I just don't see it. I, I,